Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch our Steam Party How To series. In today's topic, we're going to talk about Steam and how do I get my game on it. Uh, so basically, I'm talking about the networking side of connecting to Steam, the base Steam connection of allowing your game to communicate across its network and to show your Steam overlay. So today we're going to talk about this new project I created. It's a, a flying template. If I hit play, it's just a player game to come in and play on Steam with. Uh, for the Steam Party uh, plugin specifically. So before the Steam Party plugin can work, we need to have Steam working uh, at least at the basic level. So from a very beginning, there's a couple of things that need to be start. Uh, you need to start with. Let's go ahead and set some plugins up first. We'll go up to Edit Plugins, and we'll scroll down to the Online section platform. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the Online Framework plugin, and then we're going to go ahead and turn on the online subsystem steam and we'll go ahead and need to restart after that uh, so basically this turns on the steam plugin to have access to the api calls now we need to go ahead and set up our configuration for a project to utilize the api so doing to do so we need to go to the config file, config file the default engine config file to be specific so we'll go ahead and close this out and I'm going to hit and close down the editor for now. And I'm going to open up the uh, Visual Studio version because it's easier to see on the screen. I'm going to go to Config, Default Engine, open that up. And let me size this up. Basically, the settings I want to copy over, uh, if you already have these settings, you can go ahead and change them. But uh, for now, I don't have any of the headings that I'm going to ready to copy over. And I will post these over on the, uh, the uh, comments below. All right, so basically, uh, we want to define what platform service we want. So we'll go ahead and copy the, the Steam platform service ID. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to set up the parameters for using that platform service. So we'll go ahead, copy this. And then what this means is now this uh, on the online Steam, uh, subsystem, we have it enabled. And this is our Steam Dev Developer App ID. This is where you would put your own App ID if you have it. Right now we're using 480, which is the default Space Wars one that Valve and Steam SDK lets you use. Uh, this is the game's server query port, which is what connection port the game incoming game uh, will be handled on. Uh, relaunch of Steam is very useful if you're developing. That way you don't have to always relaunch Steam every time you try to uh, start your game. So I'd recommend that being off, uh, false. Uh, game version is basically keep you sync on Steam so you, you don't get a mismatch. So be careful with the game version. You'll have to update that. And when you do, uh, it won't be backwards compatible. Um, and then VAC enabled, that's an anti-cheat. And allow P2P uh, packet relay, which is peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, and then also we do need that. Uh, and then the base timeout for peer-to-peer -peer is 90 seconds. So we'll go ahead and, and go to the next thing, which is the driver definition. So what we're going to do is paste this line into it and I'll scroll so you can see a little bit more of it. Basically what this tells the engine is first clear out all previous defined definitions of the net driver and then I want to create our net driver to be used in the Steam driver net driver which is basically uh, its peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, and then the last thing to copy over is the, uh, the Steam class. So this is where we can actually define a specific class for that Steam connection. So we'll go ahead and copy this over online subsystem steam dot steam net connection. All right. So basically that is everything you need in the config file to get steam up and running on your game. Let's go ahead and test this out now and do a uh, right click on the project and hit launch game because steam doesn't work with the editor open or running a pie. So you have to launch the game outside of the editor. Now the thing we'll, we'll notice is when we start up, we should see a little notification in the side there we go access to the steam community while playing it's shift tab which accesses the steam overlay and it's just as you can see it pops up so yay what the first step is accomplished we have steam connection we have our friends list coming through the steam overlay so everything seems to be connected through our our game itself so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and i'll answer the best i can and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks again for watching